Welcome to Ignite San Diego number eight. Can I get a big round of applause? Who here has been to an Ignite event before? Yes. And let me hear it from all of our first timers out in the audience. Yeah. To all of our new folks, welcome. We like to say that Ignite is for curious people. So if that describes you, then you're in the right place. I'm Christina, I'm one of your hosts this evening. I'm also a curious person. And I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what you can expect tonight and I, what better way to do that than by giving an Ignite talk. So if you've been to conferences or programs before, maybe you've seen TED Talks, then you probably have some idea, more or less, what you can expect tonight. I'm gonna be going over what you can expect a little more of at an Ignite event and what we have a little less of than some of the other events you've been to before. So you probably walked in and you grabbed a program and read the titles and thought, what on earth ties this all together? Well, the answer is pretty much nothing. And that's my favorite thing about Ignite. Any topic goes. It can be serious or silly. You can teach us something or just tell us a story. That's my favorite thing. And the only requirement for being an Ignite speaker is that you're a San Diego local. We don't import our speakers from out of town because this is your community getting up on stage and sharing what's most important to them. So what does that mean for you as an audience? Well, hopefully this is an opportunity for you to discover more gems right here under your nose. I recently discovered a gem in my own community that if you know me personally, you know I can't stop talking about it. I've lived in Normal Heights for over three years, and I kind of knew about this thing one block from my house, but I never checked it out. I finally went, and now I am madly in love with bingo. Every Wednesday night <laughs> at the American Legion across the street from my house. There's so much more to bingo than I realized. Every round, you play for a different pattern. Regular bingo, double bingo, speed bingo, which really gets your heart racing. <laughs> Not only that, but the people are the nicest. Pat, Irma, and Midge have welcomed us with open arms, taught us the ropes, and they always have a hot meal ready for dinner at 5 p.m. I could give an entire Ignite talk about bingo, but suffice it to say that that feeling of discovery, of finding something exciting, it's as exhilarating as when you get to yell, bingo! So another thing you'll see a little less of at Ignite is that our speakers only have five minutes on stage. That's not very much time. Another thing about Ignite Talks is that there's more structure. Ignite Talks happen all over the world in hundreds of countries, and every talk has the exact same format. Exactly five minutes with exactly 20 slides that auto advance every 15 seconds, whether our speakers are ready or not. So what does that mean for our speakers? Well, a lot of work has gone into this. The more you know about a topic, the harder it is to get up here for just five minutes. They have a lot they want to share. So they spent time reworking, redrafting, rehearsing, and refining to get their talk down to what you're going to see today. The work probably looked a little more like this than it did the last slide, but you get the point. With only five minutes, it requires a lot more focus. Every word counts. So. There's a quote we like to share with our speakers during their training from Mark Twain. He said, if you want me to talk for, for two hours, I could do it today. But if you want only five minutes, I'll need two weeks to prepare. He only needed two weeks and not a month because he didn't have to put together PowerPoint slides. So that means that our speakers have what they're sharing tonight is only the tip of the iceberg of their passion. So there's a lot more that they, that they could share with you and want to talk to you about. And that's another great thing about Ignite, is that the speakers here are more accessible. After the talks are over, we'll have tables set up around the outside of the room, and all the speakers will have a name tag where you can go talk to them and learn more. So that brings us to our rules for you as the audience. We'd like to ask two things of you tonight. First, 
After the talks are over, I encourage you, I challenge you to talk to at least two speakers. Whether you have questions, want to find out how you can get involved, or maybe you just want to tell them you think they did a great job. Again, this really isn't that easy, so I'm sure they'd love to hear it. And second of all, we've told them you're the best audience they will ever speak in front of. So it's going to require a lot more cheering and more support from you guys. Cheering and more support from you guys. So, <laughs> perfect. Without further ado, let's get a big round of applause for our very first Ignite San Diego number eight speaker. Okay.